Yeah, I walk around shaking doing it, you know. I did that for a while. I figured there's got to be some sort of soap. All you need is a dash of soap. Becomes a wet aging. The whole thing mixes up really nice. Then you can spray. See? So you do a dash of the Bronner soap or even here's a, a natural dish, liquid dishwashing soap. N you know, any, any natural soap would do. Yes, ma'am? All of this is in your book. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's also up on the website. So as a member, you'll be able to go up to the dances with the end department. And I update it all the time. As, whereas the book, I update it a couple, every couple of years. So uh, on the outside, you spray this canola oil mixture with the sesame oil. And that's what goes. And, you know, I tend to add a drop of cinnamon, a drop of one of the essential oils, because you want to have canola. Come on in. We're giving away a free Mercedes. Uh, this, is a, this is a garden thing. Is that what you wanted to come to? No, nah, you already did. It's okay. Come on in, go, whatever, fine. So one of the things about using the oil, the, the, sesame, what, uh, the thing I like about the sesame oil is it smells. You have the sesame smell, see? Whereas the canola oil has no smell to it whatsoever. So if you mix the two together, you're spraying, you have this nice smell to it. But I tend to add a little, make it even, you know, either drop a, 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 a drop of sesame oil or a drop of peppermint oil, anything else to it to give it even more, like a, the citrus, right? Even more scent. And so you spray that on the outside, keeps the ants from coming in. But normally that's not, en that's not going to be enough because you see the ants, you have to control the ants. I mean, you've got to get their population down to a certain level where you can live with it. If you leave them alone, the ants react to nature and they react to everything. The more stressed out, the more ants you're going to have, you see. So in the long run, you want to reduce the stress. Also in yourself, too. The, uh, the more stressful you are, the more stressed out the ants are going to be. So what you want... Have to, what you have to do is you have to, uh, you know, it's a, it's a slow process, but you have to reduce the population of the ants down because there's too many of them, see? So, you know, so the way you reduce it, first of all, you get them out of your house. You need to caulk up any entrances that you have seen the ants coming in because that's the little way that you get in. You get a caulking gun, you caulk them up. The ants, what will happen is the ants will find another way to get in. If they're living underneath the house, you can still caulk up the entrance, but you, you'll see ants coming out through the water pipe or through whatever system, okay? So the next thing you want to do is you want to reduce your population. And the way you do that is you, re you, give, them, uh, uh, you, give, them, you, you give them food. You, you get them into the habit of eating. That's what we call an ant cafes. And there are lots of companies now, they sell these basic different ant bait units. The little units you buy, and you put your ant bait in there. It's like a little, sometimes they're little containers and different things that you can, so that only the ants go in there. Now, the ones in the store, now, there are a variety of different of them on the store now. They're 5% boric acid solution, okay? That's the, the standard you buy in the store. Now, remember I told you that the ants have two stomachs, one they eat and one they take back to their colony. Well, this 5% solution kills them right there. And I know, us, us good old boys like to see dead things because we like to see the ants die. Oh, look, they're all dying. But nobody's getting back to the colony. So after a while, the ants say, well, I'm not going to eat this. Georgette ate it and Julie ate it and, and Billy girl ate it, and they're all dead, so why should I eat it? And they stop eating it, see? So it works initially, but then uh, you're stuck to, and then the ants are not going to touch that. So the trick is to, is to, and I don't really like doing this, you've, it's kind of mean, you've tricked the ants, okay? So what you do is you, uh, initially, you, you st what I, I call them anchor you can make them yourself. I, when I was a kid, I just went out to a store, to a pet store, and bought these finch bird houses, the kind with a big hole in the center, and I would get, I get a plastic cup, put it inside, put the food in there, cover it up, put it in the corner, and let the ants go after it. But there are many units you could buy now in the stores. So different companies sell different units. But, and they also sell this 5% boric acid. So what you want to do is you feed the ants. What I do is I buy, I buy corn syrup, I buy brown sugar, I'll get uh, white sugar, I'll get molasses. They won't eat anything with preservatives. Because that they, the ants have their own uh, fungus with them. You get rid of that fungus, they die. Okay? Uh, one of the secrets, I'll tell you a secret that I learned that kills ants on contact but doesn't really work in the long run, is you have these uh, toe fungus things you put for your toes. That's, you spray it around, kills them on contact, but the ants will, uh, you know, the, it, it doesn't, doesn't do anything to their colony. So what you want to do is you want to get the ants into eating this food. So I give them sugar water.